Hello and welcome to this fascia love routine. You don't need anything but a floor, some cushioning for your knee and a chair to hold on to for one exercise. Today you're not trying to isolate any movements or move in mechanic, robotic or forced ways. I want you to move fluid and bouncy and just go with the flow. If there's any reason you cannot move super fast, just move as fast as you can while still feeling safe. First exercise is the one I just showed you. So rotate behind you with your arm and then loosely come back to the front. Your eyes and head follow your hand that goes up behind you. Keep doing reps of this until I tell you to switch sides. Finish up your last rep and switch sides. If you get dizzy from exercises like this, maybe try just doing two or three slow repetitions instead of 10 fast ones. Finish up your last rep and then let's look at the next exercise. This time the hand stays lower, you collect energy and then swing it with full power to the front. Kind of like you want to slap someone really hard. Okay, let's go. And again, I'm going to tell you when to switch sides. Finish up your last rep and switch sides. Time for your last rep and we're going to look at the next exercise. This one has the goal of stretching your whole side body. So the side that you're going to lengthen, you internally rotate your arm, clasp the fingers and then you're going to try to go into this half moon or banana shape. Start moving in and out dynamically now. It's difficult to keep your balance when doing this, so my recommendation is that the foot that moves swishes alongside the floor and never fully leaves it. This gives you a little bit of additional stability. And don't worry, I struggle with this too. And it's already time to switch sides. Don't forget to internally rotate the arm from the side that you're going to lengthen. Your foot moves in front of your body and then you can go in and out dynamically now. Finish your last rep and then switch your grip and go into the first side again. Make sure your front foot is turned under like I'm showing and then we're going to enter the stretch and stay there. With each inhale you try to expand the space between your ribs and open up the whole side body from your little toes to your fingertips. Make sure your upper and lower body stay in the same plane and that you're not bending forwards or backwards or twisting from the waist. Slowly come out of the stretch and do the other side. Finish up your last breath and then get ready for the next exercise. Your stance is gonna be a little bit like a warrior one from yoga, but really short. Straighten your back leg and then tuck your pelvis under so you make sure that you also work on extending your hip and not only your back. Reach your arms up and this is the exercise. Keep on doing repetitions until I tell you to switch sides. As you could see before, I almost stumbled and fell over, so it's really normal to find this exercise challenging balance-wise. If you do lose balance, just get back to it and act as if nothing had happened. Finish your last rep and then switch sides. Don't forget to tuck your pelvis under using your lower belly.
and finish up the last repetition. Before you start the next exercise, I want you to find your normal comfortable squat stance. It will look different for everyone. The main goal is that your heels can stay on the ground. If this isn't happening, you can always put something small underneath your heels. Interlace your fingers as shown. The first rep is shown in super slow motion so you know what to do. Drop your chin to your chest and then roll down vertebrae by vertebrae making yourself really round while keeping your knees fully straight. Only when you cannot go further with straight knees, you will start bending your knees and then first try touching your hands to the ground and sit down in the deepest squat you can, sit bones going close to the floor but you are still looking at your belly button chin to your chest. To stand back up, your hands try to stay on the ground for as long as they can, sending the hips up first, trying to straighten out the legs and then when they're straight, rolling up vertebrae by vertebrae, chin to the chest for as long as you can, only when you're all the way up, you look up again. And now it's your turn. Do some repetitions of this. Obviously when you're flexible enough, you can keep your legs fully straight and then touch the hands to the ground. But the way you go down is different than if you would do a pure hamstring stretch. You are actually rounding your back and then just moving fluidly up and down. Keep on doing this exercise until I let you know it's time to move on. Finish up your last repetition and then it's time to go grab that chair or something else that you can hold on to. Get into a kneeling lunge next to the chair. The leg that is closer to it is the one that goes in front. Grab your back foot and see if you can tuck your pelvis under like in one of the exercises before. If you can't, you can also do the exercise without grabbing your foot. But if you can grab the foot, see if you can pull it as close as possible without arching your lower back. Holding onto the chair and holding that lower belly engagement, you rock side to side. So I'm going to show you from the front view and you can already join along with me doing your own reps. As always, I'll let you know when it's time to switch sides. Finish up your last rep and then go ahead and do the lunge on the other side. Don't forget to tuck your pelvis under and then rock side to side. Finish up your last repetition and then it's time for the very last exercise of this routine. Make sure you have enough space around you and you feel warm and comfortable and then you can lay on your back. Before you do the exercise you're going to focus on your breathing. So I want you to put your hands onto your belly and see what happens when you inhale. Is it only your belly that expands like a balloon? Or is it also your lower ribs moving? I want you to touch your lower ribs and make sure that when you inhale they expand to the side and to the front and that they also expand to the back. 
the combination of your ribcage expanding in all directions when you inhale with your belly gently rising when you inhale is a good way to breathe right now. If it's only your belly bulging out and going back in and your ribcage barely moves, you can practice breathing properly before you do the next exercise. Now to finish off, lay your fingers onto your head and then without moving your neck or head at all, you look to your left with your eyes only as much as you can. Now you're going to keep looking to the left as much as you can for one minute. I will let you know when it's over. It's really normal that this feels difficult, especially when you do it for the first time. It's also normal that you might be blinking a lot more than you're used to and that you have to try and re-engage again and again how much you look to the left. Keep on breathing in a relaxed way through your nose and every couple of breaths check in with your jaw, neck and other parts of your body that they don't tense up and do weird things while your eyes try their hardest to look to the left. You did it, relax your eyes to the center. If you have issues with your arms falling asleep when they're laying up there, you can also lay them to your side. But now it's time to look to your right in the same way like you just did. If you don't have issues with your arms falling asleep, I recommend to keep touching your head with them because it helps you to ensure that only your eyes are looking as much as they can to the right and your neck isn't turning. Again, keep on breathing through your nose in a relaxed way and every couple of breaths check in that you're not tensing up any body parts in a weird way and if you find that you are tensing something up, try to relax it again. And you made it. Relax your eyes back to the center, let them rest there for a bit. And then it's your decision if you just want to lay there for a little bit longer with closed eyes or if you just want to get up and keep on moving. If you perform this routine for one or two times daily over a couple of weeks, you should find that your body overall gets more loose and flexible and compliant. I'm excited to hear your questions and also your results in the future.